So how do you feel about seeing um, our first venue? Excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how the wedding's gonna be. I'm gonna visualize everything pretty much. Because I've seen the videos and photos and uh, I'm not convinced yet so hopefully today's visit will change my mind. I'm nervous. I'm like nervous and excited. I was telling my sister this morning, I feel like I'm going on like a blind date. I don't know. I think it's just because it's like a serious and important part of the wedding. Obviously you want like a good venue because the venue pretty much sets the foundation for the wedding. So I think that's why I'm nervous. But don't get me wrong, I'm really excited to see it. Um, it's different than what uh, we've seen in the past. I mean, this is our first venue visit, but like researching wise, it's different because it's an actual like estate. So yeah, we're like three minutes away. We're not exactly sure if we could bring the camera in. Hopefully we can. So you can help us visualize. Yeah. like access outside it's got a fridge and it's like 2.0 <laughs> sorry the girls are gonna get ready in here okay <laughs> well i like the wood look at the wood it's wallpaper i want this no it's not it's real it's so pretty hi guys so our tour just ended and now we're like free to walk around the premises and so far, I like it. I don't know, Raph, what do you think? Um, I think I'm leaning more, this is the like and this is the dislike. I think I'm leaning more <laughs> towards this way. It's getting there. Uh, okay. I think I just gotta really see the final product and how it looks like and then we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, so this is one of the rooms. It's called the Soho room. And then we'll build in. And we'll this is more for like, um, this is like the small like bed two rooms. single per people <laughs> <laughs> that you know we can probably put in here and i like that each room has a bathroom and a tv also a fridge right yeah this is the Notting hill is like the biggest room and i can totally see this place being like a bridal bridal room like to get ready it's huge look at this and there's like a giant mirror right here and then this opens up it's like a little area to hang out i guess so they're all like themed rooms like french themed it's a pretty big house huh yep which room is this one this is called the shore ditch shore ditch this is like a really nice this white is smaller too this is for like a single couple maybe look at this is this real, guys? What do you think? No, it's wallpaper. Look at this vintage fridge, so cute. So we're gonna head to the potential ceremony or reception site. Um, it's like really pretty, the grass. Well, right now it's fall, so there's a lot of leaves on the floor, but obviously I think they'll be cleaning it out. Um, so our idea is to possibly have a ceremony here. have like a 120 to 150 guests count so we don't know how it's going to work. Yeah because see the main well one of the guy was saying that this bocce thing right here they're gonna take it out to make more space and also this mound right here they're gonna get rid of that as well yeah. so you can pretty much have your reception here and your 100 plus guest 
here in this green area and the botch area moved out. Yeah, that was great. So this, I'm pretty sure this will accommodate a hundred plus members. And then we have the, uh, the barn also. The barn is for, um, the barn is for, yeah, dancing, reception, pretty much like the hangout area for your guests after the ceremony. And he was also saying that this area right here, the grass or the uh, sand area, it can be uh, for reception also. So, I mean, right now it's December and it's already feeling kind of cold. So hopefully um, they'll have the, uh, these heater things installed by then. Yeah, because right now it's December and it's pretty chilly right now. What is it right now? Three o'clock. Yeah, that would be like about the time our yeah, ceremony will. Pretty yeah. cold. So. so yeah, so this is the barn, the dancing area for the uh, reception. They also have a uh, projection thing right here. But see, that doesn't make any sense because your guests are going to be on that side. Yeah, of course you would bring them in. And this side. So you're going to call up your guests and say, hey guys, watch this film. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We'll see if we need it or not. Yeah. So there's... But I like this table over here. We can fill oh yeah. This is a... Um, this is a cart for your bar. And you can push it to like move it to wherever you want it to go. So what I like about this it's place is cool. they said that whatever amenities or whatever you, stuff you see on the property, you can use it to however you like. Like this one. You can move it anywhere you want. And use it and then this one is good for like like your cake or desserts and you can use that and here's another round one and they're all included so that's pretty good so this is another area for the reception so I'm looking at this place and it's not that big you could probably fit like one, two, three, four, five, six. like maybe ten tables here comfortably without bumping into each other that's only what eight times ten is eighty people. Where are you gonna put the other one forty or forty other people? Ow. <laughs> first uh, stepped in here when you first got here my first impression was like yeah this place is pretty dirty but I guess they're gonna have to clean this all up and then the pool was like full of leaves and stuff but it is fun so and then, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna you know clean it up on the day of and I want this thing to be clean too and I think that works it like flows water or something I think yeah but it does create a lot of like space that could be used Pool area is nice, look at it. Yeah, that's why we can't, we, I don't know, no kids allowed because they might fall in the water. <laughs> no one's gonna be watching kids. Unless they, so, yeah. yeah. This place right here is known as the beer garden. And it's basically a place where your guests can hang out. And um, right now there's just a few tables and um, some beer, what is it? Wine barrels? Yeah. And the guy that gave us a tour told us that they're gonna add some string lighting so it gives it that really nice effect at night. Um, so, yeah, this is like a good place to host your like cocktail hour, right? Or um, since your guests are gonna be parking over there, you can have this place as like your entrance and set up like a like a uh, guest book, like a guest book thing. sign in area. Sign in, you can put the gifts and cards and whatever. So, yeah. Dude, it's this pretty is, cold. It is cold right now. Imagine in November. Well, it's probably hopefully it's a little warmer. So now, walking towards the uh, entrance, we're going to show you guys the other possible ceremony area right there. You see that little arch? This is the space. I think this can hold 150 people. Yeah, I can. I'm pretty sure it can. See, this is my vision. To do the ceremony right here. And like, cause then this is a perfect place to walk. And like, you can come out of the door. 
like everyone can line up inside the house and then as people walk down the aisle the door is right there yeah and then you have the background of the, vi the vineyards yeah you get the vineyard background in here and then the sunset up on the left so here's the front of the house guys you guys can oh, see oh yeah the house this is the house and you actually get to stay here if you book the place for two nights and three days cool <laughs> i love it i love it it's actually really new too it's like a year and a half like in running in business for events and stuff so they do have a lot of um, kinks to work on yeah and it sounds like they're on it so they know what they want for the place they know what they're doing but yeah so that's the place guys that's our first venue visit oh my gosh that was fun i was getting a car it's cold <laughs> Location. Uh, this is the Milpitas location. So, okay. what are we ordering first? I don't know. There's so many items. There's 37 items to choose from. finished eating at Jen and I'm so full right now but Ralph is just getting gas and then we're gonna head home um, today was eventful we were out like all day so we're pretty tired just probably want to chill for a bit watch some Christmas movies and then call it a night <laughs> 